And thank you, Alan. A fight between a woman and her veterinarian has sparked a lot of controversy tonight. The dog has been at the clinic now for one month because its owner is unable to pay the bill. News 5's Alan Carter is live in our newsroom with more on this story. And Mel, this one's already started a firestorm on Facebook. A family trying to get their dog back for Christmas after a costly surgery. The only problem is that they can't pay the bill. But Phil the vet isn't working with them. For Amy Eskridge and her two children, this Christmas will be tough not having their dog Elmo. He's not missing or dead, although he nearly ended up that way. Um, he was attacked. We were in our front yard walking him, and a stray dog came up and attacked him. He was ripped open and bleeding pretty bad. They tried to fix him up, but a couple of days later had to take him to the vet. He's been at Cottage Hill Animal Clinic for a month now and hasn't been home since and won't be until Amy pays the bill. It went up to $1,735.84. One she says she just can't pay. I think it's really cold. I mean, who can come up with $2,000 at once? I just don't know who else can do that. But it's gotten worse. The bill keeps growing. Every day is another day of kenneling costs. The grand total now sits at over $3,000. I'd like him just to give me a chance. I mean, I offered to work it off. I offered to make payments. Just give me a chance to do something. We just want our dog back for Christmas. The vet did not want to do an interview for this story, but I did talk to him, and he says he's willing to work with her, even accept less than the current bill, but says right now he hasn't seen any payment and worries that if he lets the dog go now, he'll never see a dime. All I ever wanted was Santa could be me Eric. Okay, but I still miss him. I mean, really a lot. The dog's part of our family. He's like a person. You know, and it's like leaving a family member and you're just, you don't know what to do. And we had a tough time grappling with this one in our newsroom today. A lot of people feel for Amy and her family, but also realize that if you run a business, it's hard to do that when you're not getting paid. So really, I think people just want a happy ending to this one.